probably don't realize this, but whenever we do a second date update where a couple actually agrees to go out again, Mm -hmm. not only do we pay for their date, but we always send them follow-up emails to see how they're doing. Yeah. And most of the time, they don't respond back. (laughs) Sometimes they'll tell us they never went on the date and they just took us for the free gift cards. Oh, come on. Which is fine. It's what we would do if we were in that situation. Yeah, you're right. (laughs) But very rarely we'll get a reply with a genuine update and we'll talk to them on the air about it in what we call a second date update update. We're really creative with these titles. I know, know, right? (laughs) And now we have another couple who actually reached out to us, Rachel and Josh. If you're not familiar, Rachel was the girl who lost her cat. Jog anybody's memory yet? Oh, yeah. Hurt, yeah, right? yeah, and Josh he got, like, hit by a car or something. Bravely went to go help her look for it, and while he was out searching, he got hit by a car <laughs> and had to go to the hospital, and that's why he wasn't calling yeah. her back. And she had no idea that that had happened. She yeah. had no idea that he even went to look for her cat. Yeah. A lot of our listeners are probably familiar with that one, but if yeah. you're not, we're going to play it for you right now, and then after, we'll get an update from Rachel and Josh yes! on what has happened since he was hit by the car. Oh, dude, this has been killing me. I hope he's out of that coma. Yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding. Here we go. Here's that second date update right now, and then we'll talk to them right after. Moving 92.5. Brooke and Jubal's second date update. People often say that romance is dead. Well, not today. Oh, good. Not when you hear today's second date update. Rachel is on the phone, and today she wants to call a guy named Josh, Uh and they actually met... In the most romantic way I've ever heard of anybody meeting each other. You better not be being sarcastic because I do not want to be disappointed today, Jubal Flag. Not one bit. Okay. Normally I joke about this kind of stuff, but this story actually really tugged at my heartstrings. And I thought it was a beautiful way to make a first connection. (laughs) Rachel, how are you? Hi, I'm good. How are y'all? Not too bad. I can't wait to hear your story. I'm really excited for you to share your story with everybody. Tell us how you met the guy that you want to call today. So, I met Josh. Actually, wait, hold on, Uh, Rachel. Let me give you some music to set the mood first. Rachel? Oh, yeah, I like that better. Why don't you tell everybody how you met the guy that you want to call today? So, his name is Josh, and we met... um, at a moment when we were both really just raw and vulnerable, Whoa. Uh, we were we were puking off the same balcony. Shut uh, up! Uh, I knew you what? were toying with me, Jubal. I what knew it the whole time. Wonderful Damn story it. of how love can overcome all things. And I, I just want to say I'm not proud of this. This is not a story that I really am proud to share. <laughs> so but... you're not going to retell it at the wedding if it gets to that point. <laughs> Um, maybe not. Maybe this will be a secret. Um, <laughs> so how'd you guys meet? Did your streams cross or? Oh, oh God. <laughs> he asked for a napkin. Maybe he needed to hold your hair back at the same no, time. No, 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 no. I, okay, listen, I'm normally a lightweight and I really wouldn't get this drunk at a party, but it was my roommate's birthday. So like, okay. what are you going to do? Um, <laughs> and I felt like I was like feeling really queasy, you know, like it wasn't about to happen, but I, I really felt in my heart that it was going to happen soon. See, you felt it in your heart. That love was about to come from your stomach and out of your mouth. You You, like rushed over to a man to meet him real quick before you started vomiting? No, no, no. Come on. I went to the bathroom. I tried to get in the bathroom, but somebody was in there. Uh So it was just like the only thing that I could think to do was to run outside. And I leaned over this balcony and I like just puked my guts out. And, like, I'm so embarrassed. And then I looked up, and there was this guy right next to me doing exactly the same thing. (laughs) Oh, my gosh. And we locked eyes. And it was so romantic. Shut Uh, up. (laughs) No, it was pretty gross. (laughs) Did you, like, immediately strike up a conversation? Like, hey, what are you doing out here, too? Like, actually, it was kind of sweet. We, like, started laughing at each other. Yeah. Um, And... It it was just sort of this moment of like, well, here we are. Yeah, I mean, you've seen each other at probably your worst already. It's all uphill from that point, I would think. Exactly. You're just praying that one of you has some gum on them? I mean, we didn't kiss that night. Okay. Uh, Needless to say. Did he ask for your number or something at that point? So the thing is, like, it was like kind of a funny situation. We started laughing at each other, kind of. And he asked for my number, and I was like, you know, what the heck? 
and I gave it to him, and and all of a sudden we had plans to like, go get dinner and see a movie. And oh my god, so you actually went on a real date? I was thinking that your date was just the balcony moment. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> real actual, real actual plans. Okay, and awesome. did your other plans involve vom too, or <laughs> did you guys have a vom free no. date? We we talked about it and we decided one drink each. Um, okay. at the dinner. No, no You're capping each other. That's cute, though. So how was dinner? Um, well, okay, so it actually ended up not even happening. Um, what? Oh, no. No. Yeah, got there, started getting all of these texts from my roommate uh, that my cat had been missing. And so I'm, like, freaking out. Pretty much immediately had to leave right when my food got there. Oh, um, that sucks. Yeah, but he was super nice, drove me back home, and I felt like such a jerk because I didn't even say goodbye. I like ran out of the car, mm-hmm. went inside. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. But I love my cat. Um, Did you find your cat? Yeah, it turned out he was in the closet. So it was like a huge, huge to do for absolutely nothing. Oh, I'd be pissed. Man, Did you block. text this guy or call him and let him know what happened? Yeah, like I, I tried to call him and apologize for like running off. You know, it's not my fault that my cat got lost. But I can't get a hold of him. It's been like four days. I don't know what's up. And I really just, like, I want to explain. I want to explain myself. Okay. Right. <laughs> well, we'll play a song, come back, call him, and get your second date update, okay? That sounds great. I mean, he just seemed like a really cool guy. I, I don't really want this opportunity to pass me by. All right. We'll do it right after this. Hang on. Moving 92.5. Brooke and Jubal in the mornings. Second date update. Hey, Rachel. I really don't know why you're not getting a call back. Your dating experience had all of the key elements that it takes to be successful in love. You had projectile vomiting, and you had missing cats. And that's really all you need to win at this crazy little game that we called love. It does sound like a Taylor Swift song. (laughs) If you missed the first part of the second date update, Rachel is on the phone. She wants to call a dude named Josh. They met at a house party. When both of them were vomiting Mm. on a balcony, (laughs) they struck up a conversation after and agreed to go out on a date. They didn't really finish the date, though, because when they met up for dinner, at the beginning of it, she started getting text messages from her roommate saying that her cat was lost. Mm -hmm. So she stopped the date. He drove her home. She ran out of the car, and she hasn't heard from him since. So we're about to call him and find out what could have possibly gone wrong in that whole (laughs) thing. (laughs) Detective work. <laughs> yeah. And it seems like if a guy is cool with the vomit part, you think he'd be cool with the freak out on the cat issue. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, I don't think you could have done anything worse than what you started with. That clear this whole thing just doesn't make any sense to me. I really appreciate you guys calling him for me. No problem. Yeah. All right, I'm going to dial his phone over right now. Here we go. Oh my gosh. I was looking for Josh. Mm, that's yeah. I'm I'm Josh. <laughs> hey Josh, how you doing? Uh, I'm I'm fine. Who's this? This is Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the Morning. It's a radio show. All right, all right. Okay. Um, can I help you with something? Can we wake <laughs> you up. Yes, you can help me with something. We actually got an email about you from one of our listeners. An email? <laughs> yeah, because you actually went out on a date with them, and now you're not calling her back. I'm not... Who am, who am I not calling back? Her name is Rachel, and she said that you guys met at a house party and then went out to dinner, but the dinner had to be cut short because of a missing cat. Oh, the cat. It's Wait, it's that hard to remember the girl that you were puking off the balcony with? <laughs> Rachel. Yeah. So you remember Rachel? Yes. Did you like Rachel? Uh, yeah. Uh, I liked Rachel. I feel like you don't actually remember Rachel the way that you answered that. Sure, I liked Rachel. Oh, uh, that girl. No, 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 no. I, I, no, I, I liked her. I, I did. Okay. Okay. So why not call her back? She said it's been four days since your date, and you haven't been responding to anything. Oh, um, no, it's, I know, it's, it's been six days. It's, it's been, been six days. <laughs> okay. Wait, so you've also been counting how many days it's been since you haven't called her back? Uh, well, I, I've, 
uh, I kept track of it because uh, that's how long I've been in the hospital. What? What? Oh my God! Wait. Yeah. Are you currently in the hospital right now? No, no. I just, I um, I just got out yesterday. What? Oh my God! Is that Are why it sounds God. like you're on drugs right now? <laughs> uh, I'm a little bit on some painkillers and stuff. Whoa! Are you what okay? happened? Yeah. Um, oh, that was. It was, a, it was such a crazy night. Um, so her cat was missing, uh-huh. and she was. I remember she was really distraught, so I felt bad. And she like got out of the car, so I drove around the corner, and then I decided to get out of the car to maybe look look for the cat. Mm-hmm. Cause I thought maybe the cat was like outside or around the area. Yeah. So I was looking for her cat. And it was really dark, and I couldn't really see that well. And then a car came and hit me. What? <laughs> you got hit by a car? Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah, I got, like, a broken arm, and I got <gasps> a couple of broken ribs. Oh, my, oh my God. You're God. lucky that that's it. Dude. Yeah, I've been in the hospital because that happened. <laughs> so you oh were going to call her back, but obviously you've had other things going on right now. Yeah. Um, it's just. It's just been nuts dealing with all this stuff. Yeah, oh, she know I'm that... so glad you're okay. Yeah, oh, we God. talked to her. It sounds like she doesn't have any idea that you got hit by a car looking for a cat. I, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I've been in the hospital. I, oh, I don't know what she knows. Oh my God, I would feel so bad <laughs> if I so was bad. Rachel. Yeah. I was, would uh... blame myself forever. Very nice of you to try to find her cat, though. Oh. I, I don't even. I, but I didn't find the cat. No, yeah. you didn't. No, he found Even a car worse. instead. You <laughs> definitely found a car. Hey, Josh. Mm-hmm. I hate to throw you under the bus again, but <laughs> Rachel is actually on the other line listening to this conversation and wants to talk to you. What? Yeah. Rachel's here? Hi. Oh, my God. Hi. <laughs> I'm so glad you're okay. Oh, my gosh. Josh, are you there? I feel like it's too many pain meds to comprehend. Hmm. Yeah. No, I'm here. I'm here. Um. But what? Uh. So what's happening? Oh, poor Josh. I, oh, you're so sweet. I um. I thought that you weren't calling me back because I screwed up our date. I I thought that you were mad at me. <laughs> She's trying to laugh it off. No, no, I was in the hospital. I yeah, yeah I know. I we heard the sirens when we were looking for oh my cat my and what? I, and that was you. Oh, God. That's so crazy. Yeah, yeah, they that must have been for me. Um, I'm sorry. No, don't please don't apologize. Oh my God. Yeah, what are you apologizing for, Josh? I hope the noise didn't inconvenience you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I got hit by a car and there happened to be sirens. Oh, I feel so guilty, Josh. I'm so I'm sorry. Oh man. Oh. No, it's fine. I just I wanted to help you find your cat because you seemed really like upset, and I just wanted oh. to help you. <laughs> How is this turning weirdly romantic? Thank you. That's, that's really sweet. <laughs> so, uh, Rachel. Yeah. Um, your your cat. Um, did you find it? Uh, yes. Yes. Don't worry about him, please. <laughs> that's good. That's good. <laughs> where where was it? Oh my God, Josh! You're gonna hate this. Um, he was in um, my closet. Oh my God. Oh, <laughs> I'm so sorry. He was in your f-ing closet. <laughs> oh, Josh. Yeah, no, Josh, Josh. You got hit by a car trying to find her cat, and the whole time it was hiding in her closet. Oh my God. Oh my God, oh, guys. Man. I'm sorry. That to is laugh. so sad. <laughs> oh, Josh, but you you're trying to do such a nice thing. Oh, maybe um maybe on our second date um I can pay Uh-oh. just to, like even the score. Actually, actually, Rachel, I'll ask a question for you. Hey, Josh, 
Would you like mm-hmm. to go out on another date with Rachel? We will pay for it. So, you're you're serious? The cat was in the closet the whole time. <laughs> yes. Oh God, I don't blame I know, you. Josh. It would be tough to hear too if I were in your Sorry, shoes. Dude. dude, that's all he's gonna be thinking about. <laughs> but would you like another date with Rachel? She'd love to see you again. Uh, wow, I'm just like I'm on a lot of medication, yeah. and I don't I don't know when I'll be able when I can go out again. Okay. okay. Oh my gosh, Rachel. Um, I well, I can come and visit you, and I'll bring you dinner because it's I, I think it's the least I can do, honestly. Hey. Yeah, that's, so, that's close to paying for his yeah. medical bills. How about it, Josh? <laughs> Will you let Rachel come over and bring you dinner, and you guys can have another date? Uh, that, that, that'd be nice. All right. Well, congratulations, Josh and Rachel. You guys got another date. All it took was Josh being hit by a car. A couple broken bones. Yeah. (laughs) Thank you guys so much for getting in touch with him. I, I completely misread all of this. Yeah. I never would have known. And you know what? I think we all learned something here because Rachel, I started this off by saying, since you two met puking. And then you had the missing cat. I said that was the recipe for true love. I think we found what the recipe is. The recipe for true love is projectile vomiting together, a missing cat, and then getting hit by a car. And that's what true love is. That's all you need in order to have a healthy relationship. Congratulations, Rachel. Thank you. Thank you. And Josh, rest up, man, okay? Yeah, I just... In the closet the whole time. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Broken Jubal in the morning. All right, what you just heard was the second date update with Josh and Rachel from six months ago. God, I love them both. I do. And now we have them back on the phone to do a second date update update. Josh and Rachel, you guys there? Yeah, hey. Thank you for being on with us again. Hey. Yeah. Oh, of course. Josh, you sound so sober. Yeah, I'm doing a lot better. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Kick that pain pill habit yeah, that you have. Good, yeah, man. <laughs> Just so you guys know, this was one of the most popular second date updates that we ever have had on the show. And a lot oh. of people were hoping that you guys would end up with each other. Oh, awesome. Is this where you call to disappoint us and let us know that you went out on a date and it was the worst experience ever? And No, actually. Um, I mean, it did take us like two months. Really? Yeah, to like... actually go out on a date? Really? Wait, wow. um, Josh, were your injuries that bad that you really didn't leave the house for two months? <laughs> yeah, we couldn't go on an actual proper like date for at least like two months, mostly. I mean, we saw each other within those two months, but it was mainly just her coming over to my place and watching a movie while I was like propped up in a chair. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, his, his ribs were messed up. Oh, <laughs> oh and no. that's the worst. You can't do anything about it. You just have to wait it out. And, like, no funny yeah. reason. No, but he looked really cute in his little bandages. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> some, some guys look good in bandages. Some yeah. guys don't. I've seen some guys that cannot wear a bandage. So good yeah. for you, Josh, <laughs> for being able to sport a bandage and look cute. Yeah, he pulled it off. <laughs> so when you guys actually went out on your date after the second date update, two months later when you were healed, how did that go? Was it was it good? Uh, she lost her cat again. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Got hit by another car. Yeah. yeah. No, honestly, it was, like, really great. I mean, I was so excited to actually, like, leave the house and go on a real <laughs> date with him. What did you guys end up doing? Because that's pretty awesome. You got to spend two months getting to know each other before actually taking that step. Yeah, we kind of just, like, had a really nice night, went out to dinner, talked, kind of walked around the area and just kind of hung out. And you were like, this is what it feels like to walk again. (laughs) This is amazing. Yeah, I mean, you guys, like, gave us this, you know, crazy story. Not every couple has this, like, you know, crazy, like, meeting, you know? And so, like, whenever we, we meet new people, we, like, tell the story of how we met. Um, oh, and it's actually kind of funny because uh, people will be like, yeah, I, I feel like I heard that on the radio. <laughs> you're the cat guy. Yeah, you're the guy that got hit by a cat. <laughs> Are you guys officially boyfriend and girlfriend then? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes. we're officially yes. a couple. I know, I know, it's exciting. But actually, the reason that we emailed you guys is because we have some, like, big news. Um, I wanted to, to let you guys know that we're moving in together. Oh, that's what? so cute. Wow. Yes, after, after what, this was only like six months ago. Yeah, yeah. 
Don't judge their love, Tubo, okay? <laughs> if they're ready for it, they're ready for it. Congratulations. Listen, we've already been through, you know, trials and tribulations, oh. physical trauma. <laughs> yeah, I mean, she was basically my nurse for like two months. So yeah. she was so great. She brought me food. She brought me soup. You know, she helped me itch my cast because I was pretty bandaged up. Oh, <laughs> was, man. Yeah. She was on me taking my medication and everything like that. She helped me out. keep that sorted because... I was pretty out of it, so yeah. it was my nice wow. You poor thing. Give you a sponge bath? Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I thought about asking her, but I didn't want to push my luck or anything. <laughs> I don't know. I think at that point she owes you. Just saying. I would have done that, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> I guess it's only been six months, but you guys have lived, like, two years in a normal yeah. relationship. Yeah. They're not going to have to adjust mm-hmm. that whole, like, peeing with the door open thing. Yeah, we sped right past that. I've, I've seen a lot of things that I never expected to see. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cute. Well, good for you guys. Are all your friends and family really excited? Yeah. They are, yeah. They're excited for it. Yeah. Most importantly, is the cat excited? Yeah. Oh, that's a What's good up with question? the cat? Now that you have to live with the cat? Everyone will be happy to know that me and the cat get along very well. And we're very good friends. Really? Yeah, except when she's not around, you know you kind of want to kick it a little bit. <laughs> it is the reason you got hit by a car, after all. I, I just make sure I know where he is at all times. <laughs> Jeff has really accepted the cat into his heart, even though he's, he's a little bit allergic. You're allergic to the cat, Josh? What? Yeah, I have a little bit of allergies, but it's not any. Man, this Wait. cat is just kicking your ass. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, Rachel's totally worth it. Oh my God, Rachel, what what won't this man do for you? That's what I want to know. Adorable. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty lucky. Yeah. <laughs> not many dudes out there would take on a car. Uh-huh. For a woman and get broken ribs, broken arm, broken collarbone, whatever else, and then live with her cat, who he's allergic to. So, <laughs> congratulations, you guys. Yeah. Thank you for the update. Thank you. You're welcome. Moving 92.5.